this is Dr. Sokolowski. I want to talk to you today about an important issue. A lot of people are concerned about concussion. And the heading of the soccer ball is definitely one of the reasons why. I played NCAA Division II uh, soccer, and I've headed the ball on many a wet day, and I'm quite confident I have some damage over the years. There's two basic points with the youngster that I like to talk about with the heading of the soccer ball. Number one is the contact point. It is not up here. It is the forehead. A good drill with your kids is to have them keep the eyes wide open and get used to the ball hitting here on the forehead, not up here. This is a recipe for disaster. You've got to be able to control where you want to put the ball. Point number two is use the entire spine, not just the neck. When you head the ball, a la something like this, the entire trunk, the entire spinal trunk is moving. My assistant is going to float a couple balls at me, and I'm going to head the ball back to, to her. Here we go. Okay, ball, please. All right, hope you learned a little bit of something about contact point safety. That's the safe, much safer contact than way up here. And to use the entirety of the trunk or spine to head the ball, not the loose neck. <laughs> Until next time.